Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Workbench for MySQL on Windows machine. In last video, I showed you how to install uh, uh, MySQL on Windows machine. And uh, what we have to do, first of all, we will be going to the Google and say download MySQL. And uh, here we have a MySQL community downloads. So dev.mysql.com backslash downloads. Click there. And uh, then we have different uh, download options available. We are going to go for my MySQL community server. Once you are there, you are going to go further down there and select operating system. In case uh, we are going to select Microsoft Windows, select that and go to the download page. Here you will be selecting uh, the full uh, download. That's what I did. In last video, we have the same steps, and uh, but the only thing we did not install Workbench. That's uh, uh, the graphical tool uh, for the development or administration of uh, MySQL. Uh, here we don't have to log in or sign up. Uh, we are going to say no thanks and it will ask you save it. Uh, I already have saved it and downloaded this file so I'm going to go back to the downloads. Uh, so here we go to the downloads and that's where our MySQL installer community 8.0.13 is available. Right click there and install. Uh, in last uh, video when I was installing uh, MySQL, I uh, did ignore this one by purpose because I want to show you this new or uh, when you have uh, once you have installed MySQL and try to install some other feature, this is a different wizard that appears. Okay, so you have add, modify, upgrade and remove options here. So you're going to go to the add here. And then you have different applications. So click on application. Here we have Workbench, Notifier, for My, MySQL for Excel, Visual Studio, and all those are different applications. And also you have a different connections available if you would like to download or add. And then you have documentation. So I didn't uh, add a Workbench last time because I wanted to show you how you can select different applications later. So once you click this um, Workbench, uh, then uh, you will uh, see this uh, green arrow to bring on the right side click next and uh, we'll hit next just this is the program files and all that that's uh, correct in our case uh, we are going to go ahead and say next execute i have uh, done installation of this one and removed it so that's why i got that, that warning on the previous page uh, like you want to override that uh, folder so yes i wanted to Okay, the installation is completed, almost there. What happened? I actually created this whole video without voice. <laughs> then I have to, I'm creating a, recreating this video for you guys again with the voice. So hit next and uh, copy loud to the clipboard. So I really don't care about that. I just want to go ahead and start the workbench. If you do not have the workbench, last time I showed you, you have uh, MySQL. Uh, command line option to connect to the MySQL server. So go to C and uh, we had uh, program files and we have MySQL, then we have a MySQL server and we have bin. Uh, that's where MySQL application is there. So we always uh, copy this folder path and then go to command and uh, then we'd say CD and we say MySQL dash U dash root dash P. Provide the password and we are connected to the MySQL show databases so you can see all databases but this is pretty ugly uh, um, interface to work with as a DBA yes I work with that one it's okay but uh, uh, if you have option to work with the graphical interface such as workbench why, workbench, why not so we have uh, done the installation okay finish so now go ahead and uh, open the workbench there are connections already there from the previous history I'm gonna just go ahead and delete it I'm gonna cancel this first sorry go to the home again cancel this or uh, just uh, delete this so you can delete and add different connections to different servers I'm gonna show you to add part of it so you give the name to your uh, connection in my case MySQL um, maybe prod you know that's what I will call this one okay uh, local host as uh, 
my my sql is installed on the same machine where i'm installing this workbench so localhost that's why if i'm connecting to a machine that or i'm connecting to my sql that's installed on a different server then i will be providing the name of that server what port okay 3306 okay let's store the password and wallet i know the password for root and we are good here and test connection looks good and we hit ok now the connection is there you can see mysql prod double click here is going to open that uh, interface we can do multiple things here we can use uh, um, create databases whatever we want to do i will leave this uh, uh, for another time and uh, not uh, perform demos here okay uh, mysql prod here okay so the server is running we can see the status here we can see the cpu usage we see the connections we see a lot of other information here and a couple of uh, things i would like to tell you here so this is all the information about my host socket uh, port version and here you see configuration file so c program data uh, my sql my sql server 5.5 my ina that's uh, wrong here it should be my sql server 8.0 so that's one of the thing if you try to find this uh, file here c program data okay let's open this maybe we'll just go ahead and open here right here okay my sql here you have a uh, this uh, my ina is in a my sql uh, server 8.0 so it is not in 5.5 so they probably that's a bug they, they forgot to update the version here but that's fine we don't really care we know that our configuration file is in uh, this uh, folder great the one good thing to learn about that was good and now base directory that's where our directory is a c program file my sql um, 8.0 uh, data directory c program data mysql uh, and you have a mysql server backslash data here so if you go back here you have a data here that's where our databases are created so if we create a new database that new file folder will be created here and all the tables will be created inside if you want to take a look here so you see this so, all right now you have a uh, temp directory you have a plugin directory so all these locations are here so you we can we can do a lot of things with the workbench but i'm gonna stop here and uh, come back in the next videos for the features of the workbench and uh, use a uh, different uh, items from the menu and uh, show you all those thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video